We're asked to multiply and simplify each product. First we have the quantity x minus 5 squared. There are no shortcuts for squaring binomials. We need to write out two factors of x minus 5 and multiply like we normally would. So we have the quantity x minus 5 times the quantity x minus 5. So to find this product, we want to distribute the x of the first binomial into the second binomial here. So we have two products here. And then we distribute the negative 5 of the first binomial into the second binomial here. So we have a total of four products. Sometimes you'll hear this multiplication referred to as foiling. I prefer to think of this as double distribution. So again, we have x times x, that would be x squared. And then we have x times negative 5, that's negative 5x. So we'll write minus 5x. And now we distribute the negative 5. So negative 5 times x is negative 5x. So we write minus 5x. And then finally we have negative 5 times negative 5, which is positive 25. So we write plus 25. Notice how we do have two like terms here, though. Negative 5x minus 5x is negative 10x. So our simplified product is x squared minus 10x plus 25. Again, there are no shortcuts to squaring binomial factors. We do not just square the first term and square the second term. Next, we have the quantity 6x plus 9 squared. So we write out two factors of 6x plus 9. And we'll distribute the 6x and also distribute the 9. So again, we have four products. 6x times 6x is equal to 36x squared. 6x times 9 is equal to positive 54x. So we write plus 54x. Next, we have 9 times 6x, which is also 54x. So plus 54x again. And then finally, we have 9 times 9, which is equal to positive 81. So we have plus 81. And again, we have two like terms here. 54x plus 54x is equal to 108x. So the simplified product is 36x squared plus 108x plus 81. Looking at our next product, we have a binomial times a trinomial. So we have the quantity q minus 3 times the quantity q squared plus q minus 7. To find this product, we'll have six products. We distribute the q, so one, two, three products. And then we distribute the negative 3, so one, two, three. So again, we have a total of six products when multiplying a binomial in a trinomial. So q times q to the second is equal to q to the third. And then q times q is equal to q squared, so plus q squared. And then we have q times negative 7. That'd be negative 7q or minus 7q. So we just found these three products. And now we distribute the negative 3s. Negative 3 times q squared is negative 3q squared. So we have minus 3q squared. Negative 3 times q, that's going to be negative 3q or minus 3q. And then finally we have negative 3 times negative 7, that's positive 21. So we just found these three products. Now for our last step, we want to combine like terms. There's only one degree 3 term, q to the third. But notice that we do have two q squared terms. Here we have q squared minus 3q squared, so that's minus 2q squared. And we also have two q terms. Here we have negative 7q minus 3q, so that's minus 10q. And then we have plus 21. So here is our simplified product. We have q to the third minus 2q squared minus 10q plus 21. For the last product, we have a monomial times two binomials, or 3 times the quantity s minus 8 times the quantity s plus 5. Normally when multiplying, we multiply from left to right. 
but the ordered multiplication is not an effective product. So in this case, let's go ahead and find the product of these two binomials, and then we'll distribute the three. We could distribute the three first into this first binomial, then multiply that binomial by the second binomial, but let's go ahead and find this product first. So when multiplying these two binomials, we know we'll have four products. We distribute the S, and then we distribute the negative eight. So we're going to have three times this product, s times s equals s squared. s times five is equal to five s, so plus five s. So we just found these two products. Then we have negative eight times s, that's minus eight s. And then finally we have negative eight times positive five, that's negative 40, so we have minus 40. Notice how we have two s terms, or two like terms, so let's combine those we'd have three times the quantity s squared, and then five s minus eight s would be negative three s, or minus three s, and then minus 40. And now we multiply by the three by distributing. So we have one, two, three more products to determine. Three times s squared would be three s squared. Three times negative three s is negative nine s, or minus nine s. And then finally we have three times negative 40, which is negative 120, so we have minus 120. So our simplified product is 3s squared minus 9s minus 120. I hope you found this helpful.